I was like, damn, man, I played the last song before they died. You know what it, you know that? I always smell the gunpowder and I can probably even taste it. You know, when I do stuff in big crowds or in clubs and stuff like that, of course, uh, you know, what comes to mind is exits and, and you know, and, and safety, you know, and that's not something I used to think about before. Everybody says, how can you still go out at night? And I'm not gonna show fear. So if I'm going to crawl in a shell and, and not keep living my life, then, then, then the terrorists won. No, we're not gonna let them win. Post was a sanctuary where you could be anything you wanted to be. You could be free. Saturday night at Pulse was awesome. It, it was the, the place to be. It was just always fun, you know? Just like going to a house party. That everybody walked in, everybody knew your name, as they say in um, Cheers. When I got there, the atmosphere was the same as it always is. A bunch of joy, you get to see the people there, you know. You know, got a shirt, look nice, you know? I remember going to Pulse, early, opening up early. I went dressed up in a red smiley Kool-Aid shirt and jeans and sneakers. So it wasn't anything special that night. It was just, it was just a, a real fun, good time. All the way up until two o'clock. They were calling last call. We stood to the bar to get a drink. Um, we never got that drink. We started hearing um, loud, loud pops. It was just like, ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta. My friend Bobby said, no, that's just the music effect. I said, no, that don't sound right. As soon as I heard the gunshots, I lowered the volume, and then I fell to the ground. The music is completely silent, and it's dark. It's happening in the, in, the, in the other side of the club there, from the restroom. So I said, we're not going out there. We're staying in here. Let's hide behind the amplifiers. Maybe the bullets won't go through it. And um, I got stuck in the corner with the whole crowd of people. We both fell to the floor. My back is up already against the stall door, but there's a, a gap that you can see underneath. So now my back is exposed. So he walked around and he touched, I felt him touching my right rear pocket. The guy whose arm was falling off, I grabbed a bag, like a paper bag. I wrapped it around his arm and I told him, hold it like that. He was passing out. I felt that this would be the place that they're gonna kill us at. And I didn't wanna die in a bathroom. I didn't twitch or move, I didn't, I just, I said just let me let them think I'm dead, you know. And at that point I was expecting my whole back to be riddled with bullets. I was just waiting. Thank God he didn't. <clears throat> he uh, proceeded to wash his hands because the sink was on the other side of the stall. He used the dryer on the wall to dry his hands. All I heard was just shots and screams, and there was no way to get out because there was so many people. But I was hoping that that I would be that I would you know stay alive. I um, I called my wife, and I told her I'm gonna die tonight. My best friend, I grabbed his hand and I was like, "Don't let go of my hand. Just hold on to my hand. We're gonna get out of here." We ran out of the bathroom only to walk maybe 12 steps from the women's bathroom to where the door was. But you can only imagine 90 to 100 people trying to go through one little door. When I was coming down the ladder and I opened the door, it's like a horror film, you know? Like sparks flying off of the TVs. There's no sound, but you can still hear things falling. Now I got my hands up and I'm walking and I'm stepping on bodies. I'm stepping on sticky blood. And the smell is, is like, I can still taste it right now. Just talking about it, I can taste it. This is horrible. We all ran out and I remember um, looking back and was like, where is my best friend? And I remember I got a Snapchat um, text from my best friend and he had said, um, I was like, are you okay? And he said, actually, no, I'm not. I've been shot. When I got up, um, I remember my friend telling me that it was on the news and that I was, he was gone. I still go out. I still go and have a good time, even though that happened at a club. 
at a sanctuary. You're gonna die sometime in your life, but you still can't live on eggshells. When I do parties like weddings or sweet sixteens, and all of a sudden a kid uses a balloon, plays around, and then pops. And I'm just like looking at everybody, nobody's moving. I'm just like, but then I'm shocked. I still feel like, damn it, man, you know what I'm saying? Like that kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. But I'm slowly getting better at it. We're gonna still keep dancing and we're still gonna keep living the way we live happily and not let terrorists prevent us from enjoying our lives. Eddie was sunshine. Eddie didn't want to, anyone to suffer or anyone to be hated on. Um, I learned a lot from him. Um, I'm still learning, <laughs> you know.